Hey everyone, welcome back to Telltale Expanse, episode 4, Impossible Objects. We are in trouble! The ship left us, but at least Maya's still alive. So we're just gonna go back to where we were exploring last time then. I need to get off this rock. Maybe there's a backup ship here somewhere? Ugh. Especially since everybody sort of mummified themselves here, right? So theoretically, there should be a whole ton of ships here. Oh my god. Need to stretch every breath. Who knows how many hours I need to survive here. No running. No hard breathing. The message we heard had to come from somewhere. If I can find its source, maybe I can change it to a distressed call. But who's gonna come find you? This thing in the sky last time, I don't think I even really, like, had that good of a look at it. Go down there. Let's breathe slowly. So this is the voice we've been hearing. Not a cult leader. Just a man trying to hold his people together. His coffin was here, wasn't it? Oh, no running. <laughs> I don't think it actually matters, but yeah. This must control the mind tracks. Ancient tech, but effective. Logan Dalton. Huh. You tried to fight off the inevitable. Death? I don't know if anybody could really fight that off ever. There's gotta be something here. I refuse to end up as just another frozen corpse in this station. October 2238. All station meeting, James's funeral, craft night, Daisy's funeral, funerals left and right. Please submit all reservation requests to the station manager. Funeral requests will supersede previously scheduled activities. Literally, a funeral every Saturday. They didn't have a chance out here, but they had a purpose. It's something. The Cassiopeia Collective, taken 12 September 2235, to commemorate the repurposing of our transmitter to find fellowship and salvation from beyond the system. What's the current year again? It's been quite a while. They did the only thing they could. Transmission log. Station broadcasts. March 14, 35. Collectivists, I'm pleased to report that Sector 2 airlock has been repaired. My thanks to our team of hardworking... April 11. Good morning, Collectivists. Dr. Jahani is here with me today with some grim news. The infection has returned, and our efforts... May 9. Collectivists, the UNN has finally responded. Our requests for emergency aid were denied. We should assume that no rescue will... June 13. Good morning, Collectivists. Today, I'd like to discuss the concept of faith. As men and women of science, what role does faith... July 11. Collectivists, I want to begin my address with gratitude. Your words of comfort and your commitment to avoid despair have given. August 8. Good morning, Collectivists. 
We've successfully repositioned our antenna array and will be recording our introductory message to dot dot dot. Station head Logan Dalton seems to have reinvented himself, from an engineer to a religious figurehead. It's hard to tell if he's solely responsible for the changes that took place here, or if he was just part of the gradual shift from a mining station to... I don't know what to call it. Regardless, the growing deaths in his community must have driven him to desperation. Uh, one could argue that if the eventual fate is going to be death anyway, maybe what he did was even offering a lot of comfort to... people at the end of days. It's a record of the transmissions with the inner planets. Yeah, they didn't get help from anybody here. Well, like, while, like 20 whatever years ago, and we're gonna change to a distress signal now so that somebody will come help us. I don't know if that's gonna happen. This is UNN Command for the station Cassiopeia. We have received your multiple distress calls, and our response has not changed. We encourage you to contact your private insurance supplier. If you do not have insurance, you can apply for emergency relief aid. You will be assigned a spot on the wait list. UNN Command, we understand that you cannot help us. No one can. At least, no human. I never understood how big it all is. But glancing out into our sorry keyhole, you begin to comprehend the scope of the universe. This will be our last message, as we are repositioning our radio transmitter to a far better purpose. It may take millennia to achieve contact, but we will be waiting. This place has given us nothing but death. But death is all we need. This is an automated message from UN Command. We have approved your application for relief aid. What? Please respond to coordinate the shipment. Your estimated delivery time is within the next seven years. This oh, is wow. an automated message from UNN Command. They tried. It's not like they didn't try. But where else could they get help? Nobody was willing to help them. Drummer's alone right now, too, so I kind of wonder how many people would be willing to... Um, Put in resources to save one person. It's so weak. But you must have had some way of communicating with the inner planets. Of course. When the inners wouldn't help you, you started shouting in every direction at once. If I point the antennas back toward the gravity well, I can boost the signal and send the distress call. Oh, Sabaka. I'll have to use the mining tunnel. Oh my gosh. The quickest way to the antenna array is... Oh, under that massive mining cart. I'll have to power it up. No pressure. We'll be fine, right? Right? The junction boxes from last time. No wonder we didn't have to use them. It basically just gives you the right answer every time anyway. It doesn't... I don't think you even really have to think about this. I mean, yeah, this is the wrong one, obviously, and then... Let's go down. We could try to be a little bit more strategic if we wanted to. But I'm having enough trouble staying upright as it is. Uh, left. Left. Oh, more? More stuff to do? And what about the, the two guys that were here last time? Didn't they leave any oxygen for me? No. Uh, no, that's not the box they were pointing at. Is it a different box? Well, the one right there. Here? This must control the mine tracks. Ancient tech, but effective. The tunnel entrance is under this thing. If you exert strength, that might not be such a good idea. Uh, uh, uh. No good. It's magnetized to the tracks. There must be a way to reroute it. <sighs> oh, 
There you go. We good? Locked. Of course. Never seen a passcode like this. It's like a phone passcode, but a lot more complicated. We need some kind of a symbol then, right? I don't think I can just randomly guess. How long- we don't even know how long the line is. So we're looking for something with this kind of pattern, I guess. Oh, no, 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 it's not a single- it's not a continuous line, it's- You do two points and then it does a line between the two points. Okay. Hmm. I'll run out of oxygen before I guess the shape they want. But maybe the miners left a clue somewhere. How about that? The junction boxes? That's kind of clever if that's the case. Um, I'm gonna take a picture of this then. Hold up. Oh, it's kind of difficult. Mm. Okay, and the last one is a down, right? There is no green glowing. I'll give it a go. Can you reset this? Can you not reset this? I gotta undo this myself. How archaic. Stupid computer systems from 20 years ago. Okay. Oh, but the whole. Oh, you can do diagonal ones too. Right. Just like how we had the um, junction boxes earlier. Let's see. So this is a diagonal. There you go. Didn't need the last down. Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. Get to the antennas. Boost the message. Get help. What are the odds that someone hears it? Oh my god. You want me to lie down and die? Is that it? I mean, I mean it's just yes, you when you embrace the inevitable. Don't talk to the bodies. <laughs> Don't talk to the bodies. Don't talk to the bodies. The MK core infection thingamabobs setting in. I think the scariest part is that it holds a completely coherent conversation with you. It's not just random words. That guy even knew my name! Oh, yeah. Is anyone breathing? Mm. I can't hear you. I said, you are a long way from home, Mali. Oh my gosh. Does? I told you I'd find you. Considering the price on your head, I'm amazed you got this far. You're not real. You're just a ghost. From a sad and distant past. You shouldn't be so quick. Turn down conversation. Carmina. Unless you want, unless you want to keep talking to the dead. You want to waste my oxygen? Fine. But you have to keep up. No, please, bother me telepathically. Not- don't make me speak out loud, please. I don't have that much of that precious oxygen left. 
Definitely nothing weird going on here. It is just uh, not enough oxygen so going to the brain. Sending a message no one will hear. Hoping for help that will never come. You really do belong here. Belong here. No, she doesn't. Someone could hear it. Someone could come. You never know when to quit. You fight and you fight, and where does it get you? Better than laying down here and dying. Wouldn't you agree? No, he wouldn't agree. <laughs> That's the thing. Lots of different parts of this mining tunnel. You gotta be careful, you know how the medicine was in some random box behind a metal block? <laughs> but my crew, my former crew is probably way a ways now. I can only hope that Maya's okay. And the Virgil will help her. Hashtag, did those rocks just turn into heads? So jumpy. You've gone soft since you left series. I actually didn't see it. Which is probably a good thing for us. Let's go. Nothing's wrong. It's okay. It's all in your head. You get a flashlight going on in here, lady? Almost there. He's quite a bit further, I'm afraid. If you're heading in the right direction. Be quiet, please. Why don't you tell me? I'm not... Who knows? Trust your instinct, yeah? It's about all you have left. Don't listen. This is the only way we went down the entrance. That was called mining tunnels. This is linear. We're doing fine, drummer. Just. So what has Kamina and Drummer done since leaving series? What have you done to protect the belt while hiding out in that shit? I'm not hiding. And when I get out of here. Yes. What happens then? You say the belt. Right, right. From me, me, from the Inya, from the tainted treasure you found. Correct. Do you actually believe all that? Or do you need a story to tell yourself as you die? Great job, you boss thing. Try to stop him. Drummer. Captain, you appear to set a disorienting all right, right? No, but look at it though. It's actually, if you look at it from a distance, it's cargo. It's regular cargo. The moment we get close, it turns into a coffin. Look. You should have leaned into that, that thrust thruster when we had that chance. Is this supposed to be for me? <sighs> Wait a few more minutes and see. No con? Okay, that's a regular cargo. I'm just wondering, where's... I'm glad Maya's not here. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad. But I'm also like, hey, well, where's... where's Khan? Well, you know what? Don't question it. Nothing for me. Is this supposed to be for me? <sighs> Wait a few more minutes and see. I am completely turned around. Oh. 
No, the ground is just uneven. Uh, is it just the ground being uneven? I don't think so. I, you know what? I'd rather float. Floating makes me feel teeny little bit better. Can you just open that? I can't run anymore. Maybe we do have to float. I can barely walk properly. What's gonna be here? Oh no! Ah, fell out. Look on the bright side. The door you need to get through is probably open now. Open now. There must be a way to double back. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's okay. Nothing down there but rocks. Hmm. <sighs> oh wow. Okay. No, 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 that, that's the thing about The Expanse. It's it's hard sci-fi. There's no zombies and stuff. Or there shouldn't be. But just because we don't understand whatever is happening right now, it doesn't mean it can't be explained by science. That's the thing. Alright, we're good. Girl, let's go. But I don't know, people have to be close to hear the signal, right? And then they have to be motivated to come here. I don't know. Do you think saying I'm drummer would help? Because what if my enemies find it? Well, I think we have to say it though. We should. Our name is pretty well known and all that. Does don't tell me you've gotten bored with the <sighs> Don't be needy. I'm sure you can handle this on your own. I can. Leave me alone. Don't worry, Molly. At the end of the day, you always end up alone. Ain't that the truth? He's just trying to get to you. We'll be fine. We've done this a million times already. Why are they here though, more importantly? Whoa! We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Maybe I'm hallucinating that part too. Oh god, what the hell? Here? Tunnel analysis. You get the sense that something's wrong, and you wonder what it could be, because your brain is too stupid to remember what the problem is, much less fix it. Your feet feel heavy in your boots, your tongue feels sluggish in your mouth, your thoughts. You blink hard and try to will your vision back into focus, but the lights of the world keep dimming, and the colors of the world start to bleed and stain each other. Your lips and fingernails turn blue. It would frighten you if you could see them. But if you could see them, you wouldn't be slowly suffocating to death in your vac suit, would you? You think, as you do sometimes, about Earth, and their sky full of air, and their fantastic self-destruction. You feel the spark of anger that usually sustains you, but it sputters and dies inside you, because you can't start a fire without air, idiot. Very... informative analysis. Who's that? Nobody? Another one for me? Why don't we leave? Whoa! Oh, that's not fair. <sighs> 
No crashing. Thought they would crash into the wall or something. But you know what? They probably weren't even there. Do you think they have extra coffins for us? No, no. We're not making a coffin down here. OPA! There's the OPA sign in the back. Hmm, walking might be a little bit tougher now. What is this? What's in here? Don't worry. You can't hurt them worse than you already did. No, oh, is this even real anymore? It's like OPA stuff. OPA stuff here? Sarah Station. Blood. Did I hurt somebody on Cirrus? Remind me, how many bodies did they pull out of that room in TND Square? Son of a bitch! It was your fault. Interesting. I don't remember setting explosives around the building. You lied to me. You told me that- I told you what you needed to hear. And you, like a good little soldier, didn't question me. They were our Baratnas. All they wanted was a better life on Ceres. And you killed them for it. Be honest. You are angry that Belters are dead. You're angry that Kamina drama was tricked. tricked. Probably a little shred of truth to everything Dawes is saying, because it's like stuff that we think about. But I also feel like if you're thinking about this drummer, you feel bad. You're, you feel guilty. Baratnas and Sisata, it is time to make our voices heard. Miloda believe that Ander Dawes has let his judgment be clouded by corruption. Rather than seeking to build the belt as a legitimate political power, he has turned to ruthlessness. That the belters of Cirrus deserve a better voice than Anders and Dawes can give us. We are not hostile enforcers like Star Helix. We are citizens who deserve the right to self-govern. That we must work with the inners while demonstrating strength when necessary. Unprovoked violence only confirms the worst inner prejudices. True strength comes from self-reliance. That the Outer Planets Alliance must condemn the actions of Anders and Dawes in order to further unite the belt as a whole. Do ferry the belt. So many dead. Was it worth it? Factionalism will tear the OPA apart if we let it. These people threatened the stability of the entire station when they challenged me. This happened immediately before the events here. To Fred Johnson. We have followed your work at Tycho with great interest. There are many here who feel you are charting a better path forward for the belt. Fred Johnson says, I owe my life to Dawes. Before I met him, I was the butcher of Anderson Station. He pulled me out of that hole, showed me a path to redemption. And then I reply, we all owe that much to Dawes. But as time has passed and he refuses to make way for others, we are the future of the OPA. Fred Johnson replies, you may be. If so, you will understand the need for patience and unity. The belt cannot prevail if we are fractured. You used to be the kind of leader who could bring out the best in anyone. Even a disgraced UNN general like Fred Johnson. What happened? 
I know what it takes to survive, which is why I am here and you are there. Drummer's losing oxygen. as Star Helix, as bad as Earth and Mars. You make your pretty speeches and then you kill to get what you want. I continue to fight for the hell. You abandon us. <sighs> Didn't want to be a part of that anymore. The way you do things, just because we hate the inners doesn't mean we go be radical? Clearly, the Belters aren't united about this. Don't you think it's time to face what's here, Molly? Molly. You turned me into a murderer. I turned you into a soldier. It's a damn good one, until you forgot how to pay your orders. I'm done being trapped in the past. The past isn't done with you, and that guilt will stay with you right up to the end. Well, continue staying with me then. But today is not my day. I'm gonna keep going. Is this the part where you tell me that there's no use in sending a message? That if anyone here has come in a drummer and needs help, they'll just start celebrating. Those. Maglev traffic. Magnetic levitation. We're good, alright? We're, we're we're doing we're making good progress here. Drummer, hang in there. Okay, that's just a nut. Okay, I thought that was something else. <laughs> Almost there. Mm-hmm. It's okay, it's okay, we'll, we'll find another way. She's fine! Maya... I'm sorry... I can't... It won't open... Who fucking who? 
So you're dying of hypoxia on a forgotten asteroid abandoned by your crew. Everything out here can kill you. You taught me that. But you faced pirates and torpedoes. Hell, half your crew tried to kill you at one point or another. Are you really telling me that Kamina Drummer is going to be beaten by a goddamn door? I never should have come out here. I... I left you. Now you're trapped on there with... Hey! Arlen did this. You did the only thing you could do. The only thing I wanted you to do. You survived. Now you have work to do. You need to save me, your crew, and the belt. Look at the veins on her. So are you gonna spend the rest of your oxygen feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you going to get to fucking work? Glad to see some of the voices in my head are on my side. Come on, drummer! Figure this out. Why don't we start picking up the, <laughs> the lever you threw away for starters? Maybe it's not completely useless, you know? Look, a pipe. Won't fit. You don't know that? You didn't even try. Faster to float. Can I assume it'll be in this room or should I go all the way back? Let's look in this room first. Should we look at it to begin with? Almost there. Almost. How about this lever up here? Uh, there really isn't that much around here. The pipe... won't fit? Too flimsy. How do you know this immediately just based off looking at it? Come on, throw me a bone here, drummer. Here? Come on, girl. Oh god, I'm like... Upside down. Your drummer's doing okay. She can still tell which one's good at a time like this. I just need you to open a little bit. Even after we send the signal, we still have to wait some time for people to actually come. Even assuming they hear it the moment we start sending it out, so we we better hurry up. Oh, it's right here! We did it! Tensho, this is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. Please, don't let me die. Tensho, this is an emergency. 
completely distressful. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. She didn't get to say who she is. Here's hoping people will save whoever needs help. We outside? Entirely? I'm hoping there's still a little bit of like residual oxygen within the building. No, we're still inside, but like, um. Oh, we're back in the. Oh, no, we are outside, okay. After this many years, I don't know if there's any residual oxygen, but I feel like. Well. There's probably more inside the building than outside. All we can do is wait. We don't even have time to worry about Maya or Virgil or Khan. What are they doing at this point? Taking the MK core back to the belters to sell? Is it really going to be that smooth? A lot of people will be gunning for it. Was that? That was a belter. We received your distress call. What is your location? We didn't include it automatically with the call. Captain Drama, if you are still there, we need your location. I'm here. Airlock. Oh. Oh! The pirates? Toussaint? I know we kind of forgot about them for an episode, but they're still a thing. <sighs> Well, the pirates were gonna come here anyway. Oh. But they need me. Because they don't know where the core went. They won't kill me. There are worse fates. Hey, you want me to speak or what? Don't just start punching.
Uh. This is a lackey. It's their enforcer guy or whatever. You look like Falota. <sighs> you look like a clogged up recycler, filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. Matna will want to speak with you soon. <laughs> I'm alive! I would have been better off choking to death on that rock. No, you wouldn't have! Wait, there's a person! Is there somebody else there? What? Cox should consider himself lucky. Our brig is a luxury hotel compared to this. I think this one's bigger, though. Seems like overkill to me. But less turrets than ours. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they're gonna shoot that turret at you. Chill. Wonder what her story is. Hey, it's just you and me. Wanna talk? Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home. They just let me hear without restraints. Pretty nice of them. Meet a drummer. Oh my god. Okay, Julie Mao. Somebody from the show. Let's move on. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think she knows it's me. Yeah. Who are you? My name is Julie Mao. Anderson Doss has a message for you. <laughs> Shut up! Ugh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes? It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off the ship. Who are you? Just an inner who's very far from home. With a shitload of supplies, I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Common enemy. Hit me. <laughs> oh, Sabakawala! That should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire brig. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. At least I know what she's after. And how far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you. After you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but... Also... I think she sees something in you now. Something she wants. Use it. Well, she won't kill me, because uh, she needs to know where uh, stuff is. Traitorous Pashang Walla. Uh, you gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Man now. Julie Mao. People who watch the show will probably be quite familiar with her. The JP from last episode in that one recording. That was our dad. Of course, doesn't mean too much to people who've only played the game so far. Wait here. Fresh tea, Manna. Hmm. Taki. Gamma meal. Good for the throat. Europa's Bane. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. 
Now I goes with this stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. <laughs> Very badass of you. That's a joke. <laughs> okay, well. I thought it was funny. Hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. Hey! That's Torrance. We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Torrance. So, you're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. Huh. Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Come in, a drama. This is Arlan, captain of the Artemis. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. Hmm. As you know, her body carries Anderson Dahl's bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. Oh, wow. It was Drama and her little Martian girlfriend who decided to go after those coordinates. Baratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. Oh no, Maya? Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is, and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? They're idiots! Thank you! Thank you, Arlen, you saved me indirectly. It wasn't that they got my distress signal. No, they got your thing. Oh, I'm worried about Maya, though. They have caca for brains. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me unless you already knew you could catch them. Mainsha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. <laughs> it is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes, betrayed by Cox, betrayed by your own crew, yet you still care. Do you love her? The little Martian? I... Mm, I mean, sure, at this point, yes, but like, do I want to... Because I don't know what, how Tucson will react. Will Tucson use that as a weakness against me, or as a, hey, you know, you're a human after all. I like that. Uh, I'll take a gamble. I do. Yes. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. Mm. We don't employ crew members here. We find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone, lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments. Same for me. Now we have purpose. And that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. But you are pirates. Both of those were negative. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. 
If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brick to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice for the moment. Let's go. This might be my only shot. To solve. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? To win my freedom. I can help you disable the ship. And I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK Core. In return, you let me and Maya go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. It's like the whole thing with Dawes again. Extreme methods. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? I do care. Depends who your gunner is. That used to be Yuri before you killed him. Now it's me. Hmm. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. Battle stations! Prama, on guns! Oh god. Oh god. Be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. What's Trevor's actual position on a ship anyway? Can she do this? We're here. Ready torpedoes. Torpedoes? We need to keep their PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. No pressure, no pressure. We'll be fine. Con. Decision aiming time. They're breaking. Flip and maintain distance. No, hold steady. I can get my shot up before we pass. If we pass, we'll be exposed to their guns. Hold speed. Torpedoes first, then take your shot. Don't miss now. I'm gonna worry about her too. Ah. Okay. Now we worry about ourselves. Minimal mana. Pressure is stable. Good. And did we get them? Break security. Disabled. Drama! Look! Wow, that was really fast thinking, drummer. Time to ready the breach pod. We still have the unknown factor on our side here, Julie Mao. You're nearing the Artemis. Keep me up 
stay dead as you clear each floor. Yes, Mama. Drummer, this is our first mission together. I hope it won't be our last. But if you step out of line once... Yes, I know. Bulletin head, brains splattered, so on. Good luck. I don't think we'll be together any longer. Not sure if we can do anything else about Julie Mao, though. She's escaping by herself. Well, I tried my best for her. Which one of those is mine? <laughs> nah, throw it. See, Magna, she's a trusting person. Tough as iron, but big hearted. Me, no. Let's just say. Not all those UNN soldiers were dead before their heads came off. Sasaki. Welcome back. Ooh, but now they're gonna see I'm on the other side. Oh no, don't do this to me. You really would. You really would every damn time. Well, <laughs> if it's the last... Episode 5 should be the last episode, which means everything goes, because they can start killing off people and the story won't deviate too wildly. Alright then. Ready for the last showdown. It would be nice if... Well, I don't care about Arlen, but everyone else, it would be nice if we could keep them alive. I don't know, though. I guess we'll have to see. Not that many collectibles this time. Yep, again, <laughs> it's a shorter episode, but I feel like we already expected this, judging from the previous ones. Who Dawes is? Drummer told Dawes that he is in her past. A slight majority, 61. Reacting to Dawes, Dawes made Drummer question her instincts. Yeah, I think if you wanna if, if you wanna keep up the bravado, then you would tell him to shut up. But I did question myself a little bit because I feel like I would question myself a little bit. Drone evasion. Drummer made it past the drones. What? You can get caught by the drones? Would you just die then? It sounds like no. Because, yeah, there's a... It's a valid choice. Maybe it'll just reveal that, Oh, surprise! It's actually fake. You're hallucinating. Telling Dawes off. 44% called Dawes a killer. 56% called Dawes a hypocrite. Yeah, I think the, the Dawes and the, the Julie Mao and all that stuff, that's like, you know, a hook for you to... If you're interested, Go check out the show and the books later and all that, but within the scope of this story, all we know is that, okay, Dawes is someone in Drummer's past, and he made her do some stuff that she didn't want to do, including killing people, and now they're not together as a team anymore. Trusting Julie. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of even lying? She already knows! Even if you try to hide it, I think she would be like, oh yeah, sure, man. Openness about Maya. Drummer told Tucson that she loved Maya. Yeah, I think this, um, sometimes being open about basic things like human emotions, maybe that brings a, a commonality between you and your enemy. And so Tucson was like, huh, hmm, love. Hey, I felt that emotion before too, and so they were okay with it. Alright. Europa's Folly. Drummer takes on the pirates and Arlen in a final gambit to recover the MK core and save her crew. Mmm, based off what we've seen so far, I feel like there are... Well, Julie Mao is here as well now, and then the MK Core, and then... It looks like they might be setting up for how the show begins. Last episode, though, I really do feel like it's, um, anybody can die in the situation kind of thing. Except for the people who appear in the show. Yeah, I liked what I saw. And I feel like I harped on enough about the, the length of each episode already that I don't even care anymore. <laughs> but I do feel like... Instead of the episodes releasing every two weeks, maybe every one week would be the best, because at this point, episode four... Episode four and episode one are two months apart now, and because... also because the episodes aren't that lengthy... I feel like they should release it a little bit more quickly, so that it's on people's minds, because I think it's pretty possible that between episode 1 and 4, people would have played like 20 different other games already and forgotten what happened in between. But either way, still looking forward to see what happens next. 
will we be able to save Maya? If we can save Maya and, you know, Virgil, Khan, and Rayan. Yeah, Rayan tried to save me, so I'm okay with him. I'd be happy. Arlen, Cox. Cox hasn't done anything yet, even though we saved him in episode one. So I guess we'll see how it happens there. This episode didn't even have a single major decision, though, because I think probably the biggest deviation so far is the, the Maya being alive versus not alive thing, which we still haven't seen the effects of. Next episode, though, that's when it's all going to go down, right? All right. See you back in two weeks yet again. Bye.